Hello again, everybody. It's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And here we are in part seven of our eight-part basic training with Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. We've got a nice little movie here on our timeline, slowly coming together. And now it's time to add some titles to our movie. You can add titles in a couple of ways to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. The easiest way to do it is by selecting one of the templates from the media generator. Now, the media generator is available in this little cluster of windows in the upper left hand corner if you just click on that tab and you'll see that here in the media generator we have options for creating a number of patterns for instance checkerboards various shapes color gradients these are very very useful even test patterns but hidden amongst these are two title effects and they are titles and text and credit roll titles and text is basic but basic is sort of a relative term because you'll see that just as the video effects have presets you can select from, so do the titles. So even under titles and text, you will find more than 50 options here for title templates. Now you can access these among the presets anytime you use any title template from this library. And with the exception of the very first one, the default title, these are all animated, and if you hover your mouse or actually select any one of these, you can see the animation. So we can come down here, and you can see as I hover my mouse over coming at you, that the text actually comes at you. There are flashing text, there are dropping text. These are all very cool and worth checking out. Let's go ahead and select Earthquake, in fact, and drag it down to our timeline. By default, you get a 10 second long title and the effect is pre-applied to it. And that is that earthquake effect that makes the letters kind of tremble on the timeline. By dragging across the placeholder text, we can type in or replace it with our own custom text. We can select the letters here, change the colors any way we want. We can change how large or how small the words are on the screen. If we toggle this open, location, we can choose whether the text is centered or wherever we'd like the text to appear. By the way, if you want to see what all of these things mean, move your playhead, just there you go, or onto the area where your title is. And then you can actually see the results of any changes you make here. Let's go ahead and put it back in the very center. There are a number of customizations you can do, including adding drop shadows to it. And as I say, this has an animation applied to it. So if I go back to the beginning and play it, we should see that earthquakey kind of effect sort of shake in the letters, and we do. Now, if we didn't like the earthquakey animation, we can go up here to the media generators window and select a different preset. And like I say, there are 50 of them. So let's choose rolling, glowing, and large sounds interesting. And we can preview what that effect looks like right there. But you notice it wiped out our text because uh, once we chose another template, it changed both the color and the text that we added. But these are fun to play with. You can customize, I mean, the animations are pre-applied, but you can even create your own animations. We show you how to keyframe those animations in the book and create your own custom animations for the text. But the titles and text are kind of the workhorse among the captions and titles and text that you're going to add to your screen. I'm going to remove that title now. Now you notice, by the way, these are all transparent. If you use them on a spot on your timeline where there is no video, they will show black behind them. If you use them as I did as an overlay on a video track, then you will see the uh, video through your transparent text. That said, let's go to the other set of templates and these are the credit roll templates. These, as you might expect, I'm just gonna go to the end of the timeline by pressing Control and. These, as you might expect, are rolling credits, and there are a number of templates for them, too. Let's go ahead and just grab plain text, scrolling in black. I'm going to move it to the end of the timeline where there's nothing behind it. So we've just got our text rolling up. There you go. Rolling up with a black background. Now you can see that as it rolls up, you've got the main title, a subtitle, and you've got left and right items. This is kind of cool, and I do an entire tutorial here on 
th this particular uh, credit rule template because there's so many ways you can modify it. You can choose not only to put in your own personal text, obviously the name of the movie, right? but you can change these right and left items so that they're left justified or right justified. Uh, you can customize the text. You can make them scrolling credits. You can make them a timed sequence. You can apply different styles here to each one of these little placeholders. So they apply styles to the text itself. So a lot of customization you can do. And of course, naturally, this has only got two items on it, but you can just continually add as many of these rolling text items as you need for your movie. Just hold down that button and then select whether you want it to be a header, a subhead, or those right and left options. It's very nice for creating a credit roll. By default, again, that credit roll is 10 seconds. If you want your credit roll to go more slowly, all you need to do is make it longer. The longer your credit is, the more slowly it will roll up the screen. And that's it for part seven. We're just about to wrap this thing up here. In part eight, we'll put a button on the whole thing and we'll output our movies. I could do a half a dozen sessions here on the titles and the title templates alone. There's an awful lot of stuff here and well worth exploring, well worth getting to know. But I cover it pretty thoroughly in the book, as well as in some of the other tutorials you'll be able to find on YouTube and at our website, moviepicks.com.